Welcome to Tripedia. Join us for an exciting adventure through Chongqing, Sichuan, China's captivating region. Explore the top tourist attractions and activities, from the three gorges to the spicy delights of hot pot cuisine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's uncover Chongqing's natural beauty, cultural treasures, and thrilling experiences together. Si Chiku. Chishchiku, one of Chongqing's main tourist sites with a history of over 1,700 years, is like stepping back in time. Many of the buildings in the tiny alleys and laneways were constructed during the Ming and Qing dynasties. Thus, some have been standing since the 14th century. It is located 14 kilometers west of the city center and is easily accessible by bus or metro line 1 to Chikiku Station. The location was notable as a center for producing porcelain. 20 sites of old kilns have been identified there, and the name translates as Porcelain Village. It was also a prominent trading hub on the Jiling River, with 12 large passageways leading directly into the river. There are also fine tea shops and eateries in addition to the businesses selling a variety of local goods. Most stores remain open until 10 p.m., and most attractions, such as the Baolun Temple and Zhong's Compound, require a nominal entrance fee of 5 yuan. Kaotian Men Dock and Cruises on the Three Gorges The Kaotian Men Dock, located at the junction of the Yangtze and Jialing Rivers, is one of Chongqing's key traffic hubs. It is very busy and one of Chongqing's must-see attractions. Kaoshinmen was built in 314 BC as an entrance into the city. At the time, the city's monarch was regarded to be the son of heaven, hence the name Kaoshinmen means towards the heaven gate. Kaoshinmen is the city's largest pier and one of the busiest on the Yangtze River. From here, you can watch cruise ships leaving for the three gorges, city sightseeing boats, and ferries all departing. Above the pier, Kaotianmen Square is the greatest sight to see all the bustle on the river, especially at night when both banks are illuminated. The quickest way to get there is to take the metro to Xiaoxizi Station, then a short walk. One of the highlights of any vacation to Chongqing has to be a cruise down the Yangtze River and taking in the breathtaking landscape as you sail through the Three Gorges. You might take a three or four day trip to the Three Gorges Dam and end your journey in Yichang. An exciting alternative is to sail from Chongqing all the way down the river to Shanghai. It takes 12 days and truly is a once in a lifetime experience. Hongya Cave. Hongya Cave, also known as Hongya Dong, was utilized as a military fortress during the ancient Ba State which existed from 1046 to 256 BC and as a dock throughout the Ming and Qing dynasties. The site is now home to a big stilt house erected along the steep-sided cliff that banks onto the Jiling River. It houses a facility where tourists can learn about Bayou culture. The Bayou are an ethnic Chinese minority community. In addition to their culture, you may sample some of their food while gazing out over the river. It is truly a highlight of a vacation to Chongqing. The stilt house is 11 stories tall and 75 meters high, with entrances from two distinct roadways on the 1st and 11th levels. There is an elevator to help with the many floors of pubs, restaurants, and cafes on various levels. On the second floor, there are various bars that have a historic aspect, but modern fixtures. The fourth floor is home to various traditional eateries where you may purchase regional foods. The ninth and tenth levels contain a variety of foreign restaurants where you may order Japanese, Korean, or Italian cuisine. Coffee shops and fast food restaurants, such as hamburgers, may be found on the eleventh floor. Take Metro Line 2 to Linjiang Men Station or Lines 1 and 6 to Xiaoxizi Station, which are both about 700 meters from the Stilt House. Three Gorges Museums Chongqing Museum is another name for the Three Gorges Museum. It possesses the most cultural artifacts from the Chongqing and Three Gorges areas. Large-scale reliefs, sculptures, and a one-kilometer-long ecological corridor are among the attractions. There are around 180,000 artifacts in total shown throughout the museum, including chinaware, jade, 
antique coins, and silk products. The exhibits cover the region's history from the Stone Age to the issues that the city faces now. There is also an amazing representation about the people of Chongqing's ordeals during the war against Japan from 1937 to 1945. Take the Metro Line 2 to Zhengjiayan Station or the Tourist Bus 480 to the museum entrance. The museum is free to enter. However, it is limited to 5,000 visitors each day. It is open every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The cinema has free movie showings at 10.30 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 3.30 p.m., and you should arrive 10 minutes before the planned start time. There is a tour service that costs 100 to 200 yuan per group and lasts 60 to 90 minutes, or you may hire an audio guide for 10 yuan with a 300 yuan returnable deposit. Jifeng Bay Square and Shopping Jifeng Bay Square is located in the heart of Chongqing's busiest shopping district. It is also known as the Pedestrian Street, or Jifeng Bay CBD, and includes several pedestrian streets where tourists can mingle with locals while shopping in Western China's first pedestrian shopping area. It was first constructed in 1997, then enlarged between 2000 and 2001. This neighborhood is home to various commercial complexes, including Times Square and Metropolitan Plaza. Aside from shopping, it is also a terrific area to eat and has a wide selection of hotels to suit all budgets. You can take Metro Lines 1 and 6 to Xiaoxizi Station or Line 2 to Linjiang Men Station, which are all close to this region. People's Liberation Monument The People's Liberation Monument is located in the center of Jifeng Bay Square. It is also known locally as Jifeng Bay. It is China's lone monument commemorating the Chinese triumph over the Japanese during the Sino-Japanese War. It was initially known as the Spiritual Fortress when it was erected in 1940, but it was destroyed in an airstrike on the city in 1946. Thus, it was replaced by a structure known as the Monument of Victory. Its name was changed to the current one in 1949 to honor the People's Liberation Army's bravery. It was once the highest structure in this portion of town, standing 27.5 meters tall, but it is now overshadowed by several other structures. To see this monument, follow the same directions as above. Kaiwanba Escalator. The Kaiwanba Escalator is said to be Asia's longest escalator, connecting the Chongqing Railway Station and the Lianglukou Metro Station. The metro station is significantly higher than the train station, and the alternative is hundreds of stairs up a steep hill. This elevator has spared me many times from climbing up those steps, and the two yuan charge to ride up or down is gladly paid by this frequently tired traveler. Lizaba. Lizaba is located in Yuzhong District between the Fotuguan and Lizaba metro stations on Line 2 and adjacent to the Stillwell Museum. It is located on the banks of the Jialing River and contains several original and rebuilt structures from the time when Chongqing was China's wartime capital. Banks, government offices, and private dwellings are located here. Some military pillboxes have also been meticulously restored. It is a free attraction that is open daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Jazidong Prison. This is one of the two jails in Shaping Ba, the other being Bai Gong Guan. They are located at the base of Gale Mountain and may be reached by shuttle bus for 20 yuan. A 10 yuan shuttle bus runs from the jail facility to Chikiku. Visiting this prison provides a realistic view into the severe prison circumstances of 1940s China, as well as the horrors of a massacre that occurred here in 1949, near the end of the Chinese Civil War, when 300 prisoners were massacred. This largely unknown attraction is free to enter. Thank you for joining us on our travels around the world with Tripedia. We hope that our videos have given you a glimpse into the incredible diversity and beauty of our planet. We believe that travel is not just about ticking off destinations on a bucket list, but about immersing yourself in new cultures, meeting new people, and creating unforgettable memories. 
As you continue your own journey, we encourage you to explore with an open heart and an open mind. Whether you're traveling solo with friends or with family, every trip is a chance to learn, grow, and connect with the world around you. Thank you for being a part of the Tripedia community, and we look forward to continuing to share our adventures with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration and tips. Until next time, safe travels.